I'm scared. Welcome back to our stupid Rex the idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy, juicy content. content. Maybe we're supposed to some Patreon. Quite close to me. Is it disconcerting? Yes. Yes. As it should be. You smell, my friend. Don't touch me. <laughs> um. And we are in a random space, I know, so the, yes, the, the aesthetic. Are, the very secret lair, the very secret hideaway. It's probably off right now. Um, yeah. Which is. Not at my house right now. Yeah, you know, um, I wanted to get this out ASAP now, so we're doing it. That's so, just the way we roll. Uh, hopefully that doesn't bother you too much. You know what we could do? We could do like a pop-up stupid reaction booth, just like that shows up somewhere, and we're doing reactions and have people come in. I like that idea. Anyway. Yeah, we would probably go to jail. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> today we're doing another movie review. Dun, dun, ta! Uh, Two in one week. Who the thunk? Newton. Rawr. Fig Newton. Yes. The delicious cookies and a very or, tasty person. Newman. Everybody yeah. get that reference? Come yeah. on, you better get that uh, reference. <laughs> but Eat the broccoli. Eat the broccoli, Newman. 47th, I don't know. First? Unless he was in a small cameo in something. Oh, yeah. Um, first Rajkumar Rao film. Correct. I uh, wanted to get into him, and I took a poll, and it was very difficult to find out which one we should start off, because I think they all got like 25%. Yeah, it was pretty Everybody well says, All of his films out. are really He's good. So, he does. Um, but... This is, uh, I want to read the synopsis sure. for me real quick. It says that this is a government clerk on election duty in the conflict-ridden jungle of central India. Tries his best to conduct free and fair voting despite the apathy of security forces and the looming fear of guerrilla attacks by communist rebels. That's a mouthful. It is. And it's true. And I remember, do you remember the trailer? I do remember the trailer. We, we were really, impressed. Really Lovely. enjoyed the trailer. Yep. Uh, and I... Couldn't wait to watch it. Yeah, and it's directed by Amit. Yeah. Amit Massacre. Massacre. Uh, starring uh, Rajkumar Rao mm -hmm. and a couple other people. Yes, uh, in particular. This guy's from Lagan. Yes. Uh, We're going to talk about her. I know I am. Where do we know her? And Jolly Patel. Uh, where do we know her from, though? Uh, Newton. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Uh, <laughs> but, yes. Obviously, 100% spoiler review. Spoiler, if you haven't seen it, go see it. And please, seriously, don't... We're gonna, we're gonna talk about everything in the film right now. But... And if you haven't seen it, go see it. So here we go. Uh, one of the things that drew uh, me to this film, for one, obviously the trailer was phenomenal. Yeah, the trailer was great. But also that it, people were telling us that, one, obviously it's performance, obviously, we can talk about that in a minute. Yeah. Um, but the um, they say this is very uh, educational about certain things that... Um, that India doesn't really want to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's kind of educational on that right. aspect. And it delivered on that because there's a Agreed. bunch of stuff that it was kind of almost shocking of what was going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but uh, and you could tell us exactly what's correct and what is not. But yeah. um, for the most part, from what I've heard, a lot of it's pretty accurate. Correct. Um, and uh, you got rebels in, in the jungle and then also you know, almost police corruption, mm -hmm. not wanting to give certain people that have the right to vote uh, the right to vote, or mm -hmm. um, th not that they think they care that they need to vote. Right. Also, those people don't seem to care to want to vote. Yeah. Because why, why would they? They've got a voter uh, card, but they don't even know who they're voting for. Yeah, and yeah. so that's one of my favorite films. This was also an official selection of the 2016 Oscars. Did not make it, which... which I, I think it was 2016. Yeah. Um, but I'd love to know what made it instead. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it was the year that the... Um, the one about the, I think it was a Colombian woman, but she was a transgender. I remember that one. Oh yeah, I and that one was that. phenomenal. I watched that one, but I don't know what else was nominated, so I can't no, tell. But I just, I just know how I felt about this one. Yeah, how do you go about it? Uh, Talk first about film first. Yeah, time. first of all, the film as a whole. This is this is one of my favorite films that we've seen. It's uh, it's <laughs> at way. I would probably place this and the the, the larger. It's got the importance level, yes. which always has to have for a great film. For, for us to say a film is truly great, it has to have an importance level. Something where it's educating you about something going on in the world that you need to know about because it needs to change. Mm -hmm. Or you need, it needs to never happen again, that kind of thing. The importance level, the script, mm -hmm. the direction, mm -hmm. the music, mm -hmm. and the ensemble acting. Mm -hmm. This was the best ensemble acting that I've seen since Header. 
as far as every single person oh, yeah. I saw this, this was believable and felt like I was seeing a documentary mm -hmm. at many times. This was very comparable in, in, in a very different way. Totally like, different. We just saw Kahani. Yes. And I said this would be one of the first films I would recommend to any American yes. um, that has never seen an Indian film. Yes. I said, go watch this, you'll still enjoy it. This, I would do that for certain people mm -hmm. if they enjoy Oscar-type films. Correct, because that's the only negative, and I don't even like saying that, but for and, people but who... But that's not a negative for the India, it's no. a negative for Oscar films in general. Exactly. <laughs> and, and for audiences in general, because the people who are not who, who are not educated in cinema and artistry... I don't have a mirror. Uh, uh, they, they don't... Uh, this is the kind of film that if you don't love mm -hmm. the subtle nuances of filmmaking and acting that are the stillnesses and the just letting things <laughs> breathe... It's like, like a fly on the wall. Like, the, the movie... The quintessential moment for me that depicts what the whole movie is about is the ending. No, 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 I don't talk about that in a minute. Okay. I want to talk about the ending, but so, yeah, I totally agree right? with you. I totally agree and, with you. And everybody is rapturously average. <laughs> Nobody's trying to do a thing. <laughs> They're just... It's and the amazing. director, the director <laughs> is <laughs> letting them just... I loved Do nothing. it. I loved it. Long shots of nothing. I know. It, it was Grand. So, they, uh, you're talking <laughs> about the directing right now. The one, the shots were oh, just utterly gorgeous. gorgeous. Every single shot was just in, it, just beautiful. Beautiful. And, and you know, obviously, we say a bunch of different shots, beautiful by different directors, uh, Sanjay um, and uh, Vish, uh, Vishal. Yeah, but, but we mean it differently. No, this is like just naturally, just beautifully simple. Exactly, shot. exactly. I got the chills thinking about it because, for example, when we talk about the beauty of someone like Asanje, what we're talking about is the aesthetic wonder that yeah. he's presenting to us that is master cinematography and filming that you just, you freeze frame and go, look at the gorgeousness of that work of art. And then um, Vishal is more like um, a Quentin kind of very creative. We've compared, compared them to Mozart and Beethoven. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very, but this is equally brilliant, but yep. it's just utterly simple. Very, very, very <laughs> painfully difficult. And painful good. In the best of ways. <laughs> I just was... I, I felt... Remember when we reviewed Header, I, I was ta telling you as I approached the ending, I had this sense of hope of, please don't screw with the delicacy you've created here. And it's so fragile that if you, if you, if you blow this at the end here... And I had that same feeling watching Newton. I'm right. like... Please stay simple. I guess we could talk about the end. Please <laughs> stay small. <laughs> yeah, because I, 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 I really like the film, but the end made me absolutely love this I, film. I, I, I applaud it. Yeah. When it ended, I stood up and I applauded. It made me so happy because this whole film, it's almost like a Seinfeld episode. Yeah. Almost, I mean, there's important things happening it, since you know about the bigger picture mm -hmm. um, and all that kind of stuff. But in terms of Newton's perspective, almost nothing really happened uh and right he, from the beginning yeah the blackout yeah and we're just listening to the mom talk and they're going down to flip the switches we're just following we're just this guy following this guy who has a rigid code mm -hmm. of doing everything by the book yeah almost to a, f a point of being a flaw right uh, i love that line that the guy gives him at the beginning who says to him uh, you, it's not your honesty, it's your arrogance about your honesty, mm -hmm. which I think was in the trailer, if I yeah. remember correctly. But anyway. Uh, but, <laughs> and so we went through this whole thing, and obviously stuff happened, and he was really trying to um, make everyone follow his code, and mm -hmm. uh, even the police, and all, the, all his other employees. And uh, do it the right or, way. And all that kind of stuff. And usually in a film, you see somebody with these flaws, and they'll kind of develop and change, and then they're like, oh, maybe I just need to relax at the end. No, he went through all that, and he's the exact same, same person. Yep. <laughs> the character arc on this guy is pretty much he ends it the way he started. And I love it. Me too. I love that they didn't really, like, no, he, he didn't learn a thing. Yeah. <laughs> and I loved that it ended. I'm watching, and I'm just totally enamored with these two actors in the scene, and I have been the whole film, the two, him and yeah. and her. I'm just enamored with them, as I am everybody in the film. Mm -hmm. The guy who's playing the main cop that's guiding them. Yeah, he did a phenomenal he's job. He's absolutely brilliant to watch. Uh, everybody, even the smaller roles of the people who were helping him in the voting office. Yeah. Uh, every single one of them was so well cast. It spoke. I kept thinking over and over again how the ensemble, even really tiny roles, 
a shot of a soldier when he had when Newton had the gun. Yeah, which and the great. tension, right? I loved that. Scene. And the director chose to get some shots of the other soldiers who never have a line. But I got this very Scorsese-esque kind of sense and Clint Eastwood sense. If you know those directors and what they do, they're very attentive to acting and actors and reality. And they will take their time. Like Clint Eastwood doesn't say action. He just says whenever you're ready to let the actors breathe and have space and he'll be rolling. And he may use some of that before they even started for, for the film. Everybody was believable at every single moment. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that says a lot about how much he let people go, captured them. There's one shot of this little boy. They get into this room and they pull the thing off and an older gentleman was hiding behind a thing. And he, the director gets one shot of this boy who's just like this, just watching. And I thought, I bet that boy didn't even know camera was rolling. He just wanted to capture. Mm. He probably did it with a lot of people. Yeah. When, that's probably my favorite thing. But the, I don't have anything bad to say about the yeah. film that, in any way. The only bad thing you can say about this film is people that, it's, it's not anything bad about the film. It's just not for certain audiences. Correct. Um, if you don't enjoy just a, a really slow burn of a film that's just about the performance of it's the neighbor doing the um, after he kills people. Oh, he's got to chop the body parts and yeah. bury him. It makes it, and he does it during the day when people hear the sound and don't think. He did it at night. He doesn't have enough storage for all that. That's so also he, true. Yeah, you guys look down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, the, if you don't like like just slow, like there's n no action in it. There's some tension, but it's almost comedic tension. Like when he's has yeah. the gun, he's like, "Bro, why do you have a gun? It's two minutes." Yeah, and he's like, "No, nope, I'm, uh, waiting I'm waiting two, two minutes. more minutes." And he's like, "Go, go, 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 go." And wait, then he's like, "Go," oh. and okay. I was like, "Okay, please just put down the gun." Yeah, and he's like, "Put down the gun," <laughs> and then they're like, <gasps> boom, 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 <laughs> they jump on him. I know, and they kick. <laughs> this uh, was brilliantly hilarious, and it, it's not like hilarious, like Anchorman hilarious. No, 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 no. Real life hilarious. Yes, and I, from the moment she came on screen. Mm -hmm. I was just, and it, the table had been set for when she arrived. And you're talking she, about, um, um, uh, 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 Anjali, if you're pronouncing that, that's the way you pronounce her name. Anjali. Yeah, uh, Patel. Patel. Okay. Um, the only woman really in the film. Yeah. Uh, when she first showed up the, and her, just her smallness and her availability to just be throughout the whole film and the very, very, very quiet romance that was going on. Mm -hmm. Very, very quiet. Mm -hmm. um, not even registered on the Richter scale, other than an occasional, you know, really, which, which, which is what made that last scene. It reminded me, remember how Piku ends? Mm -hmm. Very similar in the fact of, yeah, these guys are going to be together. <laughs> these guys are going to... There's something going on here. But, but I like that it was But I like that it didn't do anything other... It may not. No definite. It may not and happen. It was, it was like, I have to finish five minutes? Yeah. Okay. okay. I have to... I'm going to do that. breaks in and, five minutes. And I watched her. When he did that, he's typing, and I watched her, and I, my thought was, how long is the director... He's going to let it sit a while, isn't he? And she just let it sit, and she looks out the window, not indicating anything, not trying to look like she's waiting in an office. She was just... Waiting at a desk brilliant. while he was typing. If that, if I had been in an acting class and I saw two <clears> actors <throat> doing that moment, if I had said to them, "I want you two to just show me what it looks like to be waiting in an office." Do you know how hard that is to do? Oh yeah. As to, an actor, to do nothing. To be told, just sit up there and show me what it looks like to wait in an office. Everybody starts to do yeah. stuff. Look at their phone. Look at the watch. How much time is it? <sighs> I'm gonna chew my gum. I'll take a phone call. Versus just, just. <laughs> it's hard. Uh, I want to see more of her work and yeah. his work. And we can talk about him now. Because uh, we haven't yet. I know, we haven't. And he's. Uh, he's I'm, I'm very, so very good. excited because I know we haven't seen his other work. But you, but I, we've seen his trailers and I've seen the different characters he's played. Mm -hmm. So I know how different this is. And the 
the, the amazing thing is the subtle little nuances he gave his character. It's not that just his guy was... Do you think that Blink was part of it? Yeah. I do too. Yeah. Which was brilliant. Mm-hmm. Uh, just because it's, it's one thing to just be like this rigid, go by the code, and there's almost nothing there. But he gave him a certain wall. Sure did. He gave him a certain kind of way he... He, he talked or didn't talk, yep. and he gave him a way of different staring, which is different, because we saw him in the Omerta, or Omerta, I don't know how you pronounce it. Yeah, sorry, it. it's Corbinized. Um, and we've seen him in, like, the uh, the one with... Uh, we've often not recognized him. Yeah, and gotten called out for it. Do you realize who that is? It was like, well, no, I guess he's that good of an actor. And <laughs> he's coming in that in that film that's about to come out, The Judgmental uh, right. one. And yes. He's, he's, I believe he's playing... I don't remember who he's playing. But I, I saw his body that. language in that. Um, and it's very different uh, from this, and so I'm very excited to see because this was a brilliant performance. Really small, but also not like a small GC play like Casey Affleck in Manchester by the Sea. He's very small. I, I know you don't like that film, but I'm talking it, that that type of performance is small. But it, this is also small and unique, very, which is difficult to do because obviously you have different characters, kind of like a, a Ranveer and Padmavat. Who's Correct. A rad character, which is an amazing character to right. play. It's so right. fun. Right. And he has all these little quirky things, but then you also just have regular people. As was she. she as was she. Mm-hmm. They both did, and I would. I, we haven't seen her in, do, in other things, but yeah, the 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 nuances of the work that they have done mm-hmm. in their own instruments is really, really it's, clear. It's harder to be smaller and Always. memorable. Always. <laughs> Always, yeah, it's it's much harder than to. I mean, no, not to say that what like Ranveer did in Padmavat is not hard, because no, it very is. Well but it's be, very very different. Yeah, and the roles are different, so it's obviously not a fair comparison yeah. in that regard. But even and the gentleman who's we haven't said his name, the man who plays the uh, the officer who is escorting them. I believe it's this guy, uh, Pankaj Tripathi. Yes, it is one hundred percent. That's him. He's from Gangs as well. Yeah, um, he. Equally yep. as everybody, strong. Everybody was just a real character. Yeah. Somebody you would and probably have encountered in your life. Um, and then <laughs> just the... <laughs> totally believable. All of the... I believed every moment. Every frame of film. I can't wait to I see... I believe these people were doing what they were doing and we were just watching them do it. I know. All the time. Yeah. Just beautiful, I, 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 beautiful work. I, 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 it was very familiar in the ways that it was shot, which is why, like, if, if see people are into the Oscars and those types of films, I would 100% recommend this film. 100%. In, in the top three. Yeah, this is um, an Oscar-level yeah, kind of film. Yeah, there's no uh, musical numbers. Yep. There's no um, c- crazy side characters that are over the top. No, this is a great film. This is a great film, great film that anybody in the world can enjoy. Absolutely. As long as you enjoy... Great filmmaking. Great filmmaking. <laughs> and not, yeah. like, you're not... The trailer even alluded to that it was going to be more action than it was. Did you remember that? 100%. Because I was expecting a little more action. Right. Uh, no. No. There at all. Not nothing. <laughs> there's, there's certain times where they think they're getting shot at, which is one of the genius parts of the film, and one of the parts that, uh, like... Um, it's talking about uh, some of the problems yeah. that India has yeah. in terms of the police and right, like, like that. They, moment they, they realizes went... the ambush was fake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and <laughs> I called that and I was like, I was hoping that's what it was. And I was like, is he going to figure out? And then I was like, is he just going to turn around and start walking back? Yeah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> you bet he is. And it did. The no whole... faltering in his character. I remember it from the trailer, but at the moments of seeing the people with the ink on their finger signifying that they had voted, mm-hmm. that felt, um, that reminded me a lot of things that Scorsese will do when he's wanting, because Scorsese's films almost always have some kind of a social message that he's wanting to do to get. Mm-hmm. And he will do things like that. Um, and, and I also loved, because everything had been ratcheted down to real life boring, mm-hmm. uh, when it came time for that anxious the gorillas are coming I felt it mm-hmm. and I felt that anxiousness so and you also feel the reality I thought it was going to start changing me too yeah. I thought we're going to watch somebody die mm-hmm. uh, this is going to suck and then the tension when he gets the gun mm-hmm. when you've got real life boring going on and then a moment comes up like that where somebody who doesn't use a gun has a gun you feel what you would feel in real life you feel the angst of someone's going to get shot someone's going to get hurt mm-hmm. versus in an action movie when everyone's getting blown up uh, just great, great at every level. The story, the script, the use of the music. Mm-hmm. Again, reminded me a lot of the way Scorsese pays so much. 
the attention to acting, storytelling importance, and music composition to accompany the conveyance of the film, it, it's Oscar level. Yeah, I 100% agree. And uh, uh, I just wish I knew exactly. I think it was 2016, but I could be I could be wrong, so I don't want to look it up. And as far as it's um, being, uh, but it wasn't until screw yeah, you. Yeah, I love um, But um, the. Uh, I was going to say something, and I just forgot what I was going to say. What was you know what that's a sign of? What was I going to say? Oh, no. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, eminent death. And now I just forgot it again. Ooh. Yeah. What was it, Rick? I don't know. What were you just talking about? The movie Newton. No, but like specifically? Uh, the good. guns and the boring. No. The boring Oh, was... no, 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 I got it. Okay. Uh, nothing about that. Uh, <laughs> this performance by Rajkumar Rao is I think going to be very similar except now that we just we've it's different because uh like remember Ranveer and Gully Boy yes we were like right he, he's we fine. said this if you haven't seen it in a while we said he was probably he wasn't bad but he was the weakest of yeah. the bunch he was fine <laughs> having no idea who the man was and how small he had to go uh we're morons yeah um uh, but Stupid us. Obviously, we hadn't seen any of his other trailers or... Knew nothing about the man. Uh, maybe, actually, maybe we had seen his trailer. Man. We were even more stupid yeah, back then. We really knew nothing um, about the man. But having seen this other guy's, I think it's going to be a very similar performance, um, except obviously very different. But yeah. his other like, stuff, that you're going to be able to appreciate a small... Even though this is not... It's a small performance. It's a very quirky and unique performance. Right. I think we're going to be able to appreciate it even more once we see all this other stuff and how, yeah. how much he changes. It would be like... It would be comparable to example if your first exposure to Heath Ledger was Brokeback Mountain. I'm not comparing Mountain. Rajkumar Rao yeah. and Ranveer. We're not, guys. God. It's, I know. We're, we're talking about comment. our... I know. <laughs> we're talking about our exposure to their work and the order in which we get it. And here's what I'm saying. It reminds me of if somebody didn't know Heath Ledger mm -hmm. and their first exposure to him was Brokeback Mountain... Their thought would be, oh, this must be a quiet, reserved guy who probably plays similar characters all the time and oh. does nice, nuanced, small stuff. And then you'd see his body of work and go, okay, guy's a freak. Uh, this, I'm sure. Because of what we've heard from you beautiful, stupid babies is that this is one of the preeminent actors of our time. And and he, he actually could very well be a very similar, if Heath was able to keep his career going and not yeah. pass away. Yeah. Uh, a very similar type of actor, right. I think. Because yeah. um, I, I, I have no doubt from what I've seen that Raj Kumar Rao could play kind of a Joker type character that's very almost not him. Right. In terms of having to be that. Just become fully immersed in his, um, his, his so character. He's like a method actor uh -huh. and he can do so many different, because like if you've seen Heath, you got Monster's Ball, you got Knight's Tale, 10 Things I Had About You, and then you get into his, his, his work work. Um, Even in the Patriot, the when Patriot, he plays Gibson's son, yeah. Joker, and then his final film uh, with uh, the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. He's just playing so different. Obviously, he didn't have time to flesh it out, right. um, but I think he could be a very similar style of actor, Rajkumar Rao. Yeah, Heath. I, I see that, um, which is a high, high compliment. Uh, a high, high compliment, uh, because he really... The only differences that you get that at that like level, my favorite actor. yeah. The only differences you get at that level of artistry is simply the nuances that come from the person themselves. You don't get any better in terms of the actualization of the art form in its presentation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Heath and Daniel Day Lewis are, are are not similar to watch. They bring their own perfection to the art form, mm -hmm. and in that way, you can't compare them. Mm -hmm. You can only say they're both as good as it gets, mm -hmm. and they're as good as it gets in their own ways, which is what is so beautiful about acting, yep. is that each actor brings their own thing to it, as long as they're honest. Like, Tom Hanks could never be Heath Ledger or Daniel Day-Lewis. Mm -hmm. He's got to do it the way he does it. Mm -hmm. And even, like, example, we've talked so much about Nawazuddin. Nawazuddin and Rajkumar Rao would be comparable in terms of their mastery, mm -hmm. but very, very different. And what you see in the finished work. And they're both in Gangs of Wasper too. I know. Sorry. We're going to get to that one now. <laughs> <laughs> so, thumbs up. A plus. A plus. Oscar level. One of the best films we've seen. Uh, period. 
Loved it. Yeah, this this film is phenomenal. Please recommend our next Raj Kumar Rao film. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be twenty five, twenty five, twenty five because everybody just says he has everything. It's really great. Has a bad film, right? Uh, Rains we've seen with the new one, but that's the one that's getting also really good reviews in, in the theater, right? Um, so please let us know. And her work, I want to see more of she's, her. She's more unknown, I think. But, well, she is. But you can let us know what her best work. And I I I would love to see some behind the scenes stuff with the actors working with the director. I really would love to know what things were like on location and on set as he's directing and doing the things that they're doing and yeah, how what, much what are his other films oh, as well oh man uh, yeah because it's just recommend. So. beautiful <laughs>